Hello, 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 my fellow engineers. This week's video, I wanted to just do a quick introduction to Motto and how you can use it to test AWS services. Motto mocks out the backend infrastructure of AWS so you don't have to. At some point or another, as software engineers, we will be touching AWS services. And quite a common task would be to upload or delete a file in S3. But in order to test how we upload or delete a file in S3, we don't actually want to upload or delete a file. I'll just give an example of what I mean by this. If you want to follow along, here's the pip file with the dependencies I'll be using. I'll link all the documentation below. Firstly, I want to create a class that handles our S3 interactions. So I'll call this class S3 Handler. And in this class, I want to initialize uh, an S3 client uh, session. So I'll start by I'll start by importing Botto3 first. I call this my S3 session. And I'll use Botto3 to create my session. And then I'll also have a S3 client as well. So I'll use the session to create that. I also want to interact with a specific bucket in S3. So I'll call that my bucket. And I'll also want to have a file that I want to upload. And we'll call that my file, just a text file. I'll actually need to create this here. So that's what I've created earlier. And we'll be using that as the file that we want to upload. But I'll also need a file path. And for this one, I'll just hard code it. Don't need that end bit. Next, we'll create our method that we want to upload our file. We'll call that upload s3 file. And in this, we need the path to the file that we want to upload. And we'll use OS for this. Just import that quickly. And we want to specify the file path and the name of the file. Now we can use our S3 client to upload the file. And we need to specify firstly the path to the file, the bucket that we want to specify, where the, where the file is going to be uploaded, and the name of the key that that file will be stored under in S3. For this one we can just use the file name. Now let's build a test for this. So firstly, I want to import our handler and then let's define our test. So what we want to test is our upload. So we should go grab that. And let's create a S3 handler and let's form the upload. And let's see what happens. So you'll notice that Foto3 is trying to locate credentials that don't exist. In reality, you would be running this in an environment where you would have an AWS configuration set up. But I don't actually want to upload a file. This is where we can use Motto. If I import the mock S3 decorator, I can use this like so. Now let's see what happens when I run the test. As you can see, Foto3 isn't looking for credentials anymore, but what I'm actually getting is an S3 upload failed error due to having no such bucket existing, which is the exact response that AWS would give us in this situation. Fantastic. So what we need to do in this test is create an S3 client using Foto3 that we used before. So I'll just import that. And then we need to use that to create our bucket. And we need to specify the name that we set in our class that we made before called my bucket. Now, if we run that test, you can see it's now passing. We have successfully mocked out AWS infrastructure, and it's as simple as that. So when testing AWS services, give Motto a try and see if it works for you. Any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll catch you on the next one.